Katia v5, this will be regarding boundary. So this will be located in operations within generative shape design. And we're gonna see that this will create a boundary from the edge of a surface. Now let's analyze the case studies over here. With the boundary, we have multiple propagation types. So we can go for no propagation. If I will only select this edge, only that will be selected and extracted as the boundary. So boundary will give you the exact wireframe of a surface. So you can use that within other features afterwards in order to work on your design. We also can go for tangent continuity. And as we can see over here, Katia automatically selected this tangent arc over here. Or we can go for point continuity, which in this case will select everything. Over here, we also have a different surface that was created starting from three points. So that will also give us that point continuity over here. Or we can go with complete boundary, which will give us the complete boundary. Let's take a look at the following surface over here. So with boundary, if I will go with point continuity for this, I will select it. Even though this wasn't created using points, just like the previous surface over here, we're going to see that this will give us the complete boundary over here. So those two will be the same. We can also go for tangent propagation. In this case, since I started over there, there are no tangency between those two. But if I will select this, it will give me that tangency over here, if we have that added. Or we can go with no propagations. No propagation. Okay, so we all also can define a limit. For example, I can right click over here, I can create a point or I can select a point. For example, I want the boundary to start over here and I want it to end on that point. And we're going to see how that boundary will be selected. I can also decide to obtain the reverse and that will give me the following selection. So the reverse selection in this case. Keep in mind that the boundary elements will be added over here and we can use those within other features over here. For example, I can use this as an, as an extrude, but in this case, I will need to specify the, um, the direction for this. So we saw that with X, it didn't work, but if I will go with Z axis, that will work over here. Or I can also use the compass or I can create a line for this. Now, if I will go over here, we're going to see that we have this primitive, which was a sphere. We also had a pyramid on top. And I use the trim between those in order to obtain this profile. So if I will take a look at this cutout, you're going to see that this hasn't been perfectly aligned. So over here, we have um, the following distance and over here it will be larger. Now, if I will try to do a boundary over here, I also added a multiple extract over here, because in this case, if I will use the boundary, I will say that I want the complete boundary. I can select, for example, this edge, but we're gonna see that Katia will give us an error. So the selected edge is invalid. As you can see, internal edges are not allowed. And we obtain this internal edge because we use the trim feature and um, those two subdivisions. So in this case, what you can do is to use multiple extract over here and afterwards use that as a boundary. But I will make a separate video regarding this. I will just um, show you the functionality over here so you can select this. Again, we have the propagation if that will be with tangency or, or point continuity, just like we have over here with boundary. And at the end, we're going to click OK and keep in mind that both boundaries extract and multiple extract will have will be as a wireframe so you can use those within other um, designs so i also have over here a plastic bottle open so if you are not familiar with this design i created um, this starting with imagine a shape as we can see over here, this is a subdivision. Let me just show you how we can use boundary in this case, because within this design, we are going to need that uh, boundary selection. I will swap this to be with shaded. And over here, if I will go for boundary, we're going to see with point continuity, if I will select the upper 
segment over here we're gonna receive that so over here we already have the design mirrored on the other side of, of the reference and we have this joint so that will give us the boundary that we can later use and we can do an offset so if i will go over here and define this as the work object we're gonna see how this actually started if i will also hide this for now we're gonna see that we have a white plane and if you're not familiar with Katia v5 you will know that you need to be within shading with materials to see those so this was the sketch this was after um, a sketch from uh, fusion fusion 360 created on their um, main account and i created the same model within katia well, within uh, a video and we see i started with this subdivision which i roughly aligned to match that design and afterwards i did some uh, sketching over here so we see those additional sketches within those sketches i did two over here with some splines in order to have that inner section over here as we can see the one on the top and over here for the um, bottle cap we also gonna use a sketch in order to cut that out and afterwards using splits i did the following so initially i cut this in two afterwards with another split i use this as a trimming tool so for this split if you're gonna see cutting element an element to cut will be split one and with that extruded surface because we we can also use directly wireframe to do the splits but usually it's also a good idea to add some surfaces when you're doing this because it will allow you to to have a little bit more control over here so afterwards if i will go over here on split if i will extend this all the way up to offset we're gonna see this section over here and afterwards we're gonna have this boundary so i extracted this inner boundary over here and the one onto the other side and afterwards using a sweep and for that sweep i use the guiding curves as those two boundaries so this is again why i decided to add this section at the end of the boundary feature because this is really useful because keep in mind that those wireframe will be in 3d and you cannot convert them otherwise so boundary will do that conversion easily afterwards we have the sweep over here and that will finish the design and at the end we're gonna add some thickness and we're gonna separate the top the bottom uh, section of the bottle so that we can uh, go for the final design okay so i hope you find this video useful i will position a similar video on the left side and the subscribe button to the right so that's it thanks for watching